touristical view book lot, all of which depict the city of Brussels in Belgium. Uh, this first little accordion style view book of lithographs dates from the 1880s to 90s. It's uh, as clean as a whistle, almost like new. It's photolithographed here in Leipzig. We see the imprint of, on that uh, image there. There's a Brussels uh, uh, seller's embossed stamp uh, pasted in uh, at the rear. Nice covers, gilt lettered, embossed like so. And here is the second one, a different uh, book of the similar era and type. This one, the images within it uh, have become separated. And what we'll do to look at them is go like this and like this. They're all very clean. This right here is typical for these types of um, lep Leporello uh, view books uh, in that the images, uh, because of the weight of the paper, uh, places a lot of stress on the fold lines, uh, which is, it's just paper. So over time, if the book is viewed enough, uh, the views will start to separate like that. And here is yet an, another one. Uh, same era, 1880s and 90s. Same sort of uh, photolithographic uh, views printed on a coated paper stock. This one has a little tissue guard in it like so. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. It's funny because when you start to collect uh, and look closely at view books of cities like this, you begin to realize that uh, so many of these, actually, they all contain different views. It's rare to find books with the exact same series of views. This is, this is quite a bit earlier here. These are tipped in albumin views uh, on heavy cardstock. Uh, this one here, I would say, appears to date likely from the 1860s or possibly 70s. Um, yeah, this is much earlier. Yeah, that's a great street scene right there. Very active. A lot of times uh, examined underneath a magnifying glass. Views like that will reveal surprising details such as carts with advertising on them or people engaged in street trades such as merchants or street sweeps and things like this. And this will show you each of these views. There we go. Okay. So that's, that's, a, that's beautifully preserved. And then here's another example of how these types of view books, the weight of the views, these are also mounted albumens, and this is, this is fairly early. These are by Jaeger, published by Jaeger. Um, these uh, were originally attached with a piece of uh, like a thin cloth or linen on the back, and that dries with time and being folded and unfolded. And so it's common that these types of uh, card views, almost carte de vistes, uh, become separate like this. This one has a great horse-drawn uh, cart in the street there. Same here. It's fantastic, really. And there's, yeah, this is a great street scene right there. And here's this one. And this one. And see, yeah, this linen has become uh, age dried. This is a f also an outstanding view that would be great under magnification. There's a lot of activity going on here. Same with this one. People looking at the camera, people, a woman walking with an umbrella, here, people walking on the street. Yes, nice photography for this. There's a classic view there. There's one here, and this one also has the tag of a Anvers or Antwerp uh, Belgium uh, merchant. And so the final view book is this beautiful, almost Art Nouveau uh, or Weine Werkstätte uh, uh, in appearance. These are uh, also mounted views, but I believe these are more like a collotype. Uh, but again, uh, very interesting. We see street activity in several of them, uh, people. Uh, pedestrians and so on, and these also are now you know have become detached, uh, so now they're kind of loose within the uh, binding. And this one here is quite interesting because these uh, rail cars uh, are on these tracks like so, and this is the, the yeah this one actually looks like it had an original paper binding, uh, and so this lot of 
six 19th century <clears throat> Brussels tourist view books is available as a lot online from me, Brian DeMambro.